Welcome back to my channel everybody. I am excited to do this tutorial today because I think that it can apply to so many different people. This is a very classic look that I wanted to do today. It's very simple. I keep my makeup on my eyes very simple, on my skin very simple. It doesn't mean there's not a lot of it, <laughs> but it's simple. <laughs> I wanted to do a holiday look that can easily be achieved. And this look really can be achieved very easily. I feel like I could glam this look up or I could play it down a little bit. I would feel very comfortable wearing this to church on Sundays. I would feel very comfortable wearing this to a party. I feel like this is one of the most versatile looks that you could possibly wear. I don't feel like it is over the top. I don't feel like it definitely. I don't feel like it's a boring look, but it is very easy and simple to achieve. So let's go ahead and get started and I will show you how I achieved this look. I'm going to be starting with my foundation. This is a new foundation that I've been using and I absolutely love it. It is the Kat Von D foundation. And when I do a bold lip, I like to have as flawless of a canvas as possible so that nothing else is really noticed other than my bright lips. So I'll just make sure to take extra time in making sure that my skin is nice and flawless by using a full coverage foundation. Once I have all of my foundation on, I am going to go underneath my eyes and conceal them with concealer. And also, I will be covering my eyelids. And I am using my damp micro blender. And it's, it's just the same as the beauty blender, but it's micro. They do have an in-between one that's the mini. And I almost wonder if I need the mini one instead of the micro one. But I'm torn because it fits right underneath in my eyes perfectly, but I feel like I can't hold it because it is so tiny, but I love it. I really do. And I use it every single time I put my concealer on. So I know I love it. I just, I don't know. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to get used to holding it, I guess. And look at the difference even just with only concealer on. I just feel like this one is just, I feel like I'm awake and fresh and this one just looks so much not. <laughs> Now I don't want just the underneath of my eyes to be the only thing highlighted on my face. So I'll take my that same concealer and I'll place just a little bit on my chin, a little bit down the center of my nose, and maybe in between my eyebrows. And I find when I am going to be wearing a bold lip or a red lip, I get washed out really easy, especially with all this really light product that I've just put on. So I do like to put on a fair share of bronzer. And I just use a fluffy brush and I just try to blend it going in circular motions. And I always start with my forehead. I do not want there to be any lines where I'm putting my powders. And so I just kind of, I stick to the perimeter, but I also just buff it in with the other colors that I've done as well. You don't wanna just coat your brush with bronzer. That was kinda of hard to say. <laughs> I actually got it out. You don't wanna just coat your brush with bronzer. You wanna just do a little bit at a time and build it so that you don't have like big patches of color. It's harder to blend. And I've done that a million times, so I've learned my lesson. Now in the past, I have used a bronzer to contour with and I just did not love the way that it looked. I didn't like the color and it just wasn't natural. When I had a line, it didn't look like a shadow. It looked like orangey. And so I did a little research and I recently bought a contour color. Now this is not a bronzer. It's an actual contour color. This is by MAC and the name of it is Sculpt. And it looks like a bronzer, like it looks just like a normal brown, but it has gray undertones and so it actually looks like shadow on your face. And it, and it doesn't look very dark at all and I, when I first got it I thought this is not going to be a very good contour color. but. Actually, it works really well. I don't know. It goes it goes on much better than you would think, and I feel like it does a really good job contouring. And I mostly just use this for under my cheekbones. So I use the bronzer to warm up my face, and now I'm going to be a little more structured with my sculpting powder and kind of sculpt out my cheekbones. 
I'm also going to take it just down the sides of my nose and I do color it down the side of my nose not even necessarily because I feel like I need to contour my nose but because I like to add a little bit of color to the center of my face because you can see that I take the bronzer and the contour along the outside of my face and leave the inside um, highlighted and bright and I just feel like it breaks it up a little bit having that color on my nose so it's not that I need to contour my nose I just like some color on my nose and now before I do my blush, so I've got my contour and I want to put my highlight on before I put my blush on. That way the blush can kind of blend everything together. At least that's what I think in my head. I don't know. So when I put my highlight on, I like to start kind of below the temple, the tail on my eyebrow. And I go down my cheekbone until about the center of my eyeball. And sometimes a little bit lower. It just depends on how shimmery I want to be and this highlighter I love because you really don't see it on you unless you're like unless you catch the light just right or you're outside in the sun or if you're at a party and the lights are hitting you just right and I talk like party as if I'm going to all these parties I think the only parties that I go to are like my family Christmas parties but hey I still want to look really good <laughs> And I did do a video on eyebrows with Ellie on her channel a while ago. It's actually a really good tutorial. It was the first one I had ever done, so I was a little nervous. I am planning on doing my own eyebrow tutorial. I just haven't done it yet. So if you want to see how I did my eyebrows, go check that video out. I will have the link down below. So after I filled in my eyebrows, I wiped my lips off with a Q-tip dipped in Vaseline so that it would clean off all the concealer and that way it would prep my lips for lipstick by moisturizing them. So I'm going to be taking a vanilla, really light shade. Anything that you have will work that's just super light and I'm going to sweep it across my entire eyelid. Using the same highlighter that I did on the top of my cheeks, I'm going to highlight the inner corner of my tear duct and my brow bone. And then also taking the same bronzer that I used to bronze my face, I'm going to place that in my crease. And I'm focusing it mostly on the outside of my eye, but I just kind of go everywhere. I just kind of buff it in everywhere. really hard time knowing what kind of blush to wear when I'm doing red lipstick and I've seen people use anything from pink to kind of a burgundy color. The one I'm using is called Warm Soul and it's just kind of this burgundy-ish, has a trace of gold in there, I don't know. It's just this color <laughs> and it seems to work really well with my red lipstick. But you really can use just anything kind of neutrally. Now everything up to this point with my makeup has been very soft, very clean, and I like that that's how everything is. Next I'm going to be doing my eyeliner and my false lashes. I'm not gonna do it on camera. If you want to see how to do it, you can click the links below. So here are my eyes with the eyeliner and the eyelashes complete. I personally like my eyes without any bottom mascara. A lot of times I will put at least the same crease color on my bottom lash line, but I kind of just prefer nothing on the bottom to each their own, and you know your face best, so do what looks best for your face. Now moving on to the star of our show, our red lips. You can take any red lipstick. I have several from the drugstore. This is uh, Ruby Woo by MAC. It's a pretty popular red lipstick. It has blue undertones and so it makes your teeth appear whiter. And the one thing, ugh, the one thing that I wish about this lipstick is that it wasn't matte. It is very hard for me to wear matte lipsticks. But I went to the drugstore and I bought this Rimmel lip lacquer. Their lip lacquers are very pigmented, especially for only being around $5. I really like these. And I actually found this going through Ellie's purse and I used it and I went right to the store and bought it after I used hers. <laughs> Oh, it's so dry. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, I was trying to attempt to do this without doing my lip liner first and it's a little crucial. So I am going to line my lips with a red lip liner first. <laughs> If I know that I'm going to be wearing a bold color of lipstick, I will, that morning when I'm brushing my teeth, I'll dip it in baking soda and I'll brush my teeth when I'm finished with my toothpaste, I will polish my teeth with baking soda and I feel like that kind of brightens my teeth a little bit and helps keep them white. So here are my lips with the matte color and before I absolutely suffocate I am going to put a little bit of this Rimmel lip lacquer on just to show you the two different options so you can either use this one or you can have it with some gloss. So here is the final look and even though I am wearing the most red lip you could possibly find I don't feel like this is too over the top like I feel like I could wear this to a family party or out to a more glamorous party. I don't have any glamorous parties to go to, but if I did, this might be a look that I would be sporting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me any comments that you have, what you think about the look down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Just a pretty glow to the... <laughs> Seriously, how do people take pictures of their lips? I hate trying to take these stupid selfies. Who calls them selfies? Who named it selfie? That one's harder. I feel like this is the most versatile... Versatile, versatile. I feel... <laughs>